Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm gonna be showing Wonderful Wedding Party. It is a giant lavender compact that you can carry like a bag. This was actually requested by a couple people, so here it is, I am finally showcasing it. Some of you have also asked how it compares to the theme park backpack, so here they are side by side. They actually look really good together. Theme park backpack is also a little bit wider than this one, so this one is definitely bigger, but this one has a lot more detail because we already know how it goes. The vintage ones have a better reputation for being more detailed, and I've already seen them both, so. I'm gonna tell you right now that this one has a lot more detail. Having said that, they're both really cute, so for those of you out there who are wondering which one to get, just get them both. Get them both so I don't feel like the only crazy one who got them both. Now let's take a look inside Wonderful Wedding Party. This is Wonderful Wedding Party, and as you can see, it comes in a giant lavender heart compact. There's also a pink handle here so you can carry it like a bag. On the back, of course, we have the Bluebird logo and the year, which is 1994. I think the best Polly's came out in 1994. I've showcased a few 1994 sets and they're just the prettiest. I love them. This set comes with four gorgeous characters. I did repaint and restore all of these characters, so you might notice some subtle color differences. First one is Polly. She's the star of the show, but she is a bridesmaid in this case. She's got her beautiful magenta dress and she's holding a flower. Then we have Tiny Tina, who is also a bridesmaid and she's wearing a lavender dress. And the bride herself, who is Rebecca, and her wedding dress is so beautiful. And here is the groom, his name is James, and he's wearing the cutest little tuxedo. We also get a horse whose name is Star, and I repainted this one as well, just to give it a bit more style. Here's the purple carriage that the horse will pull. And finally, we have a veil for the bride. On OnlyPollyPocket.com, which is the website that I reference for my collection, we also get a little skirt, which didn't come with the set, so it's not 100% complete. And this is one of those things that's not a big deal to me because it's just made of cloth and I can probably hand make another one myself. At least the veil is super pretty, so I'm glad I have this one. Now let's open up Wonderful Wedding Party. This is so gorgeous, and I'm not even surprised because we all know how vintage Polly Pockets are. I love the pink and teal color scheme because it's very 90s. I also love how elegant this looks, especially this top part with the banisters and the pillars. We also have these side wings that open up. First, we have the bottom level, which is a garden. This is where the actual wedding is taking place. First, we have this courtyard with beautiful stone steps, and you can walk up the steps right into the garden. Some beautiful graphics over here with wedding balloons. Of course, the best part of this compact is it plays music, which comes out through these speakers, and the music starts by turning this little angel statue. Right here under this wedding arch, we see these pathways where the bride and groom can walk down the aisle. And when I turn the statue, the platforms move. They stop right about there where you start to feel a little resistance. And right past that resistance point, that's when the music starts. That was actually a pretty long song. Someone asked me how to replace the batteries on the set, and unfortunately, there is no way to replace the batteries. There's just no way to open the set. There's no screws, no nothing. On OnlyPollyPocket.com, they say right here that it's just not possible, and they've actually tried taking it apart and couldn't go that much further without ruining the entire set. You could also try taking it into a professional, but with something like this, you risk breaking it. So 
I guess it's okay that the music doesn't work because the whole set is in one piece, at least. Here's the other side of that arch. On this side, we have the reception area. There's the wedding cake, silverware, fancy chairs. I really like this flat couch. Here's the photography area. We have a camera there and the characters can stand around here to get their photo taken. Back here, we have a piano area. And here's a place for the characters to sit right in the garden. This side here is Star's stable, so this opens up. And Star can just chill in there, enjoy some food. Then we have these two sets of stairs which open up and they're actually storage space for the characters. You can put this piece down to create a dance platform for the bride and groom. Now usually the vintage Polly Pockets are really good at staying upright, but this one it falls really easily, so I can't quite get it at a 90 degree angle. It's also really squeaky. But this is how it's supposed to look when it stands upright. This platform has a couple cute details. We see some cute ribbons over here. We also have these animal statues. I don't quite know what kind of animals they are, but they look like dogs. Maybe lions. They're usually lions, right? Now we get to the second level, which is a hotel where the bride can get ready for her wedding. The front of this looks so beautiful and elegant. I love these little decorations with the bow and horseshoes. Horseshoes, of course, signify good luck. We also see some heart designs. There's some here, there's one there. I also like that we can see through the windows and get a little sneak peek of what's inside. This balcony is super, super cute. It just looks like a little tiny dollhouse. Now let's open this up. Now we can see the entire upper level. First, we have this elevator, which goes up and down. A grandfather clock, that's so cute. These purple doors, let's see what's inside. A beautiful banquet. We see wedding presents, champagne, flowers. There's even a little picture of the bride and groom back there. On this side, we have a parlor with a fireplace and more pictures. Those are also presents for the bride and groom. On the balcony, we see two double doors that take us to the garden. It's pretty random because it's a hotel, but there's a dog back there. Whose dog is that? The wallpaper, of course, is super cute. Hearts and horseshoes, just tons of good luck to the newlyweds. More party decorations, more bows and balloons. Again, this banister, I love it. Just something about a miniature banister. It just feels very dollhousey, very cozy. Here's another flight of stairs, which take you to the highest level. This is where the bride sleeps and gets ready for her wedding. You can lift the blanket up and down. That's really cute. I've only seen a couple Polly's do this, but I love it. I also love that her bed has those fancy curtains in the back. A little bathroom area here. No toilet, but we have a sink. And inside these teal doors is her vanity. She can stand on this platform and look at her beautiful self. This area is so pretty. On the sides here, we have a couple more details because this is vintage Polly Pocket, so they make use of every little nook and cranny here. We have some curtains here. And on this side, more curtains and also a little couch. Now that we've seen everything, it's time for Rebecca and James to get married.
that was the gorgeous, wonderful wedding party. I'm actually not much of a wedding person. I would tell you that my wedding was full of anxiety for me because I don't like being the center of attention in that way. But this is very, very beautiful. It has so many details. I love that the music still works. This table just came out. <gasps> Did I break it? It went back in. It went back in, we're fine. I also love that it's kind of like the giant Lucy Locket heart. If you haven't seen this one, I did a showcase and it was actually my very first Polly Pocket showcase back when I just started my YouTube channel. So I was still a little bit shy and awkward, but I recommend you watch it if you wanna see what's inside. Let me know what you think of Wonderful Wedding Party. Do you like this more than Theme Park Backpack? Do you like them both? I like them both. They're both very charming in their own way. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase and I'll see you on the next one.